New wood turning tomorrow, but today Kelvin and I are going to take a look at the Heoki Camo Cargo E-Bike. I've been excited about this for a little while now, and they send it along with the child seat that can go on the back of it, and it can carry up to two kids back there. Let's get this out of the box, Kelvin, and take a look at it. Well, I feel like i got to tell you, this is an impressive bike. First of all, look at that orange color. It's just gorgeous. Second of all, it's, I don't want to say massive, but it's probably the biggest bike that we have it's it's impressive and it's got that center stand down there i love that i wish they all had that that's going to make putting the front tire on here real easy <laughs> you know why he's so excited because now that we got the bike put together, we're going to the casino. See you guys tomorrow. Well, Kelvin had a brief ride. Had a lot of fun with it. We went to the casino and we're back. He's doing the husbandly duties of going to work every day. So I've got this thing to myself. What Kelvin really likes about this bike is that it's so big. It's it's kind of uh, long, massive, really well built. It fits him really well. He's a kind of a tall guy with long legs. He had the seat way up. I've just lowered it down to something a little more my speed. I guess it's time to just take it for a ride it is a step through so that's nice we're in pedal assist one here i'm going to shift into two it's got a turn throttle over here here we go oh my hey curly i'll be back bud it's got a horn oh yeah a loud horn Sorry if there's a little too much wind noise. I'm debating on how to take care of that with this camera. There's a few few options. The lake is right here on our left, but we can't see it yet. Pedal assist three and I'm pedaling. This is a pretty steep hill. Takes a little while for the motor to cut off after you stop pedaling. I noticed that. Takes about two revolutions of pedaling to get the motor to kick in. flowers looks like tulips huh well it sure does ride nice it is very stable I don't feel any shimmy let me kick into pedaling up this hill here We're in pedal assist three, I'm pedaling, we're going about 11. That was easy peasy. And we'll pull in here to the lake and see if anybody's fishing or sunning themselves or whatever they might be doing down here, I don't know. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, 
we got lots of company, don't we? I guess I'm the company. Everybody else is already at home. Many people for me. I should have got out a little bit earlier, huh? What time is it? 3:20. Ooh. I'm gonna try this hill at throttle only. This is a, a very steep hill. Steep hill. Come on, baby. I'm pedaling. No throttle, that's all fill. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. Took a little work, but, uh, We got her done. I don't see anybody. Here we go. See what kind of speed we can get here. I think Kelvin said it topped out at 20. You can get a nice view over here. We'll take a look. This is where the rich folks live. That's the Puyallup Valley out there. Well, so far, this Hayoki Camel is uh, giving me a ride for my money. It doesn't go particularly fast, 20. I bet we can get into the menus and change that up to 28 throttle only. Should be able to pedal at 28 on pedal assist 5, however. I know last time I did an e-bike review, I got chastised for not stopping at the stop signs. Well, you know what? It's safer not to. As long as there's nothing coming, as long as you look and there's no one there, why stop, get off the bike, get back on the bike? 
that's when you might fall is when uh, when you're doing that stopping thing and getting on and off the bike it's just safer to look both directions and slow down of course slow down but there's no there's no reason to stop there's no one here there's no one here why would I stop Seventeen miles an hour. They waved me on. scooter on and it made it up at three miles an hour this made it up at 14 something but that's a scooter and this is an e-bike Okay, we'll pedal our way back home here. I haven't been doing much pedaling, but I'll tell you, it feels good. It feels good. I could probably shift down here a little bit. get out of this intersection. And we're safely back home. Before we wrap up this review, I wanted to go over some of the specifications and features of this Heoki Camel e-bike. First of all, it's got dual batteries. It gives you a total of 27.8 amp hours. That's like almost twice as much as a mid-priced bike would be, which gives you an incredible 90 to 120 mile range. Wow. It's got a three amp smart charger. Charging time is six to nine hours. It's got a 48 volt, 750 watt brushless hub motor. The frame is aluminum alloy. Tires are 20 by four puncture resistant. Get a nice smooth ride out of those. The bike weighs 88 pounds out of the box. Recommended rider heights cover a wide range from five foot one to six foot eight. Just about anybody can ride this. And it has an incredible 450 pounds maximum payload capacity. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you can carry another 200, 250 pounds has 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes front and rear the handlebars fold down save space if you're hauling it which is what i'm going to be doing that's why i haven't put the child seat on yet but i'll put a picture of what it looks like up here so you can see the child seat it has a seven speed shimano cassette and derailleur that's mated with the shimano thumb shift it has front fork suspension and seat post suspension. Makes for a really comfortable ride. I really enjoyed riding this. The spokes are stainless steel. The pedals are metal and they have reflectors on them. It has a half twist throttle. 
I really prefer that over the thumb throttle. It has a very bright LED headlight, tail light with brake lights, and yes, turn signals. Has a loud horn, headlight switch. It's got a really comfortable gel saddle. I like to replace the bike seats on these with something more comfortable, but it's not necessary with this one. Really nice. It's got reflectors all around on the sides of the tires, on the spokes, on the pedals, and of course that orange color, that's going to reflect a little, isn't it? It's got a bright, easy to read LED screen with all sorts of different information you can look through. It's got the time and the mileage and the power of the battery remaining, how fast you're going what pedal assist mode you might be in. With that 400, 450 pound capacity, this makes a great bike for going grocery shopping. Maybe if you have a side job as a food delivery person, running errands or family outings. It's just a great looking bike. It's a great riding bike. It's a very practical bike. I rolled it over here from where I had it stored and it just rolls nicely. I mean, you, it weighs 88 pounds, but you'd think it weighs 20. It, it, it's just, not an issue. Easy adjustable seat height. I don't know. I probably haven't covered it all, but it's, it's an amazing bike. It is on sale right now and comes with the child's seat, which is, I'm not sure how much it normally is, $100, $150, something like that. Comes with it and it's on sale. Check the video description for a link so you can read all about it in case I missed anything. I don't think I did, but I probably did. There might even be a discount code. I don't know about that, but it's on sale. It's got the free seat with it, so why not? I highly recommend this Heyoki Camo e-bike. New wood turning video tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. So for now, this is Phil, Shady Acres Woodshop, signing off.